This is a fly pattern that I like to use to imitate our local smell. To tie it, we'll start off with some blue thread, snip the excess free, and continue wrapping towards the bend of the hook. At which point, we'll create up a build up of thread just beyond the bend of our hook, wrapping back towards the head of our fly. We'll then paint over this thread build up with some UV resin and secure it in place with a UV light, doing so to add a small hot spot to the back of our fly. Fix in place with the UV light and grab some lateral scale. Here I'm using pearl. Secure the lateral scale to the head of our fly, wrapping back towards our hot spot, at which point we'll reverse our thread's direction once again back up towards the head of the fly, making sure to leave an even thread base for our next step. Also, if you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. Once our thread reaches the head of the fly, we'll grab our lateral scale and begin to wrap it forward in closed touching spirals, doing so until we reach our thread. At which point we'll secure it in place with our thread and snip the excess free. Wrapping back on it slightly, we'll then grab some more UV resin, painting this over our lateral scale, as well as durability. This will help add some shine, as well as durability to our pattern. Fix in place with a UV light, and grab some marabou. Here I'm using purple. Measure the marabou to be a bit longer than our hook shank, and secure it to the top side of our fly. Snip the excess free, and cover up your tag ends. We'll then grab some blue marabou, select a small clump, once again securing it to the top side of our fly. Secure tightly, snip the excess free, and cover up your tag end slightly. We'll then grab some UV blue crystal flash, securing it to the top side of our fly. Secure tightly, snip the excess free, and grab some more marabou. This time we'll use gray, securing it once again to the top of our fly, snipping the excess free, and covering up the tag ends, making sure to use as little thread as possible. Next, we'll grab a red feather, strip a small section free, and use this to create a throat on the underside of our fly. Secure it tightly in place with your thread, and snip the excess free. Cover your tag ends so there's no exposed red or marabou feathers. Whip finish to hold everything in place. Snip your thread free and grab some eyes. We'll paint over the side of the fly with some super glue, placing our eye in place, repeating this process for the other side. We'll then fill in the gap with some UV resin to add some extra security as well as round off the head. Fix in place with the UV light, and this is an ice smelt, a pattern I like to use here in Maine to catch salmon and brook trout. However, the marabou provides great action, and swapping out the colors, you can use it to represent any bait fish. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.